Hi, this is Tony Benson, and I want to welcome you to Patterns in a Flash. What I want to do over the next few minutes is show you around this tool and all the resources that you have within it. And what I also want to do is give you a plan, is show you what I consider to be the best way to go through the tool so that you can get maximum benefit out of it. After all, you want to get to your destination as quickly as possible, right? Of course. All right, let's get to the tool. And I want to walk you through each component of it and show you exactly what's here. And then I'll give you the plan as to how to go through it. Now, where I'm starting here is on the Lessons tab. You'll notice down in the bottom left-hand corner, right here, you've got three different tabs. The Intro, which is what you're watching now, and then you've got Lessons, and practice cards. This is a two-part tool. The lessons are videos about each individual pattern that explains the pattern, what to look for in the pattern, what to look out for in the pattern, and also some different entry points, ways to trade those specific patterns. The practice cards are a training tool to train your eyes to instantly recognize over 30 different patterns. So I'm going to start off here in the lessons. And what I want to do is click into the basics of trends. You'll notice here there's a table of contents. And you should go through each of these lessons, each of these videos, in sequential order. They are designed to be gone from top to bottom. Introduction, technicals versus fundamentals, directions of trends. And then once you go through the last lesson, the DJIA versus the DJTA, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Averages versus the Dow Jones Transportation Averages, once you've gone through each of the lessons, you'll notice up top there's a tab here that says quiz. And I know some of you are saying, but I didn't come here to take quizzes and get tested. The quiz serves a couple purposes. Number one, you have to go back and retrieve the information that you just learned, which also helps to solidify it. It will also give you feedback as to what you maybe need to go back and review. So it really does give you a lot of benefits. And it won't take you but a few minutes anyway. Now moving back to the lessons, I'm going to click on the price patterns and go in here and look. And you'll notice that there are two sections in here. You've got reversal patterns. Then you've also got continuation patterns. And there are different sections for each of them. The quiz will cover both of those sections. Going back to the lessons screen, We've also got the basics of candlesticks, which is a relatively short section. And then in the candlestick patterns, you've also got reversal patterns, you notice here, and continuation patterns as well, which is also a very short section. Very few candlestick continuation patterns. And then once you're done with the reversals and continuations, then there's a quiz here as well. So that is the lesson section of this tool. Now let's move on to the practice cards. And you'll notice we've got two tabs up top here. You've got the individual patterns and then all patterns. Where I'm going to start is the individual patterns. And what you've got is price patterns and candlestick patterns. On the individual patterns tab, if we start at the price patterns, and notice when you move your mouse around, it's just an arrow. If you put it on one of the patterns, though, it will turn to a hand. And if you click on one of those patterns, we'll take the symmetrical triangle, it's going to open up the practice cards. Now in this section, the only patterns that it's going to show you is the one that you click on. In this example, we're looking at the symmetrical triangle. And basically the way these cards work is all you have to do is you can either click the next button up top here, or you can just hit the space bar. And what it will do if you're not sure what you see, it will draw a line on the chart showing you a little bit about the pattern. Give you a little hint, basically. If you're still not sure, you hit the space bar again. It will give you another line, if there's one there. And if you're still not sure, you just hit the space bar again, and it will tell you up top in the middle what the pattern is. Notice this is a symmetrical triangle. Since we clicked on the symmetrical triangle tab, the only patterns we're going to see are symmetrical triangles. And notice all I'm doing here is hitting the space bar. And all you're seeing is symmetrical triangles. 
Now, once you're comfortable and you've seen the different variations, as you may have noticed, every single one of these looks different. Patterns, price patterns, candlestick patterns, they're all just like people and snowflakes. Every single one of them is different. And so once you've gone through a section and you're familiar with that individual pattern, move to the next one. This is here so you can get familiar with the variations of each of the individual patterns. Now you can click over to candlesticks and it's the same thing here. Let's say a rising three methods. You see the pattern there. Right? You click the thing and it'll circle it for you and then tell you what the pattern is. So all you have to do is click through these and you'll see rising three methods only. Now once you've got comfortable with all the different patterns in each of the candlesticks and the price pattern section, then if you go over to the all patterns section, notice the price patterns tab. Notice now when you put your mouse there, it doesn't turn to a hand. And down here it says this section of practice cards will randomly pull from the above list of patterns. So if we hit the start button, there we've got a pattern, and do you see it? We hit the space bar, well that helps, it's the triple top. Hit the space bar again, what do we have now? There's a flag pattern. It's not going to give you the same pattern, it's going to randomly pick from that whole list. So now once you've got familiar with all those different patterns, now you come in and test what you can see if you're looking for different types of patterns. You click the back button, and then you can go to the candlestick patterns. Same thing here, except it randomly pulls from this list of candlestick patterns. And then, of course, on the Mix tab, what this is going to do when you click the Start button down here, it's going to randomly pull from all the price patterns and all the candlestick patterns. So you're going to get every single pattern, over 30 different patterns, thrown at you to see if you can recognize them. So now let's go through a plan of exactly how to use this tool to get the maximum benefit so you can get to that destination of yours as quickly as possible. And what I would recommend is starting out with the practice cards. And this is something you should do on a daily basis, at least until you get down to where you can recognize any pattern at any time. What I would suggest doing is starting here at the individual patterns, either the price patterns or candlesticks, that's up to you, but start out recognizing each of the individualized patterns and learn the different variations that you're going to see, or at least that are possible, I should say. The different variations you'll see are infinite, literally infinite. So start out with the individualized patterns. Once you get comfortable with all these, then move to the All Patterns tab and start with either price patterns or candlesticks. The very last place you should end up is on the Mix tab where it gives you every single pattern could give you a line pattern, it could give you a candlestick pattern. So start out with the individual patterns, get familiar with each of those, and then move to the all patterns and end on the mix tab. Now let's move on to the lessons. And there is almost five hours worth of material here. So it's going to take you a little while to get through it. What I would recommend is Go through the practice cards for a few minutes a day and then come in and take a few lessons. If you want to go through all of them quickly, spend half or three quarters of a day going through it. You're welcome to. But what I would start with, and there's a specific order I would go in, start out with the basics of trends. The reason for that is because a lot of the patterns, especially the price patterns, you have to have a good understanding of the basic components of trends and how they work. Otherwise, some of the price patterns will be a little bit confusing. So if you have a good grasp on the basics of trends, technicals versus fundamental, the directions of trends, lengths, support and resistance, role reversal, one of my favorite sections, round numbers, and then trend lines, identifying trend lines, using trend lines, drawing trend lines. If you're familiar with all of those, then when you move to the price patterns, it's going to make a lot more sense. So once you've done basics of trends, the next place I would go would be to the price patterns and go through each of the price patterns, reversals, and then move to continuations. And of course, do the quizzes after each section. After that, I would move on to the candlesticks. Now, there is a little bit of debate. You could go from basics of trends straight to basics of candlesticks. 
I'd go straight from basics of trends to price patterns because they're a little bit more connected as far as concept. And then you move to basics of candlesticks and from there go to candlestick patterns because these two are more well connected. And again, basics of candlesticks, relatively short because candlesticks, although they seem complex when you first learn them, the more you start to understand them and study them, they're actually a lot simpler than they seem. And again, there's a quiz here. Each of these four sections have quizzes. You'll see candlestick patterns. Lots of candlestick reversal patterns. And then, of course, the quiz for the candlestick patterns. And that is how I would suggest going through all this tool. Use the practice cards on a daily basis, a few minutes a day, and within a few weeks, at the most, you'll start to recognize patterns almost instantly. In fact, they'll probably just start jumping off the page at you. You won't even have to look for them. And as you're working on the practice cards on a daily basis, start going through some of the lessons. So that is it. That's what I would recommend doing. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day and happy trading.